Hawkeyes in a man-for-man -man defense. Here's a shot from well outside of three. Skims the front of the rim, short. Rebounded by Sanford, ahead to Patrick McCaffrey. That's that transition game you talked about, a dunk for Patrick McCaffrey. In the short end by Marcus Watson, rebounded by Tony Perkins. Here comes Perkins, and he, and he was the magic man down the stretch, I think, last year for the Hawkeyes. Oh, and Patrick McCaffrey's got it rolling, doesn't he? Look at Fran McCaffrey giving him the eyeball. He's got composure in the paint, kicked it out for a wide-open shot. Down to the 16.05 mark of this first half. Fast action. Here's Patrick McCaffrey in the lane. Patrick now with nine. I think that's why the fans appreciate the Fran McCaffrey era. A lot of three-quarter court press, a lot of pushing the ball, and, and finding these under-the-radar recruits like the Murray Twins who come to campus, get better, and turn into great players. Shot from three on the right wing. Back of the iron, not good. Hustling for the rebound is Woods. Woods crossover on Connor. Goes in for the basket. Reverse layup and score. Caused the missed shot there. Rebounded by Patrick McCaffrey. Brings it into the front court. Rabacha on the left baseline. Cut off by Austin Johnson. Shot from three from Chris. Splash. Missed by Powell. That's great defense by Tony Perkins. Skying for the rebound is Chris Murray. Back to Murray. Left-handed dribble down the lane. He goes. Left-handed wow. shot soft off the board. And for Ka uh, Patrick, that is his fifth of the night. Robracha out on top. Here's Sanford attacking the basket. High off the board. That in top square in that bank in that uh, glass. <laughs> what needs to be done to help this Iowa team be successful on a possession like right there. Steal. Look at that. And a pass to Sanford Man. for the score. He's got the toughness, the athletic ability, an extremely high basketball IQ. And, oh, by the way, he's very unselfish. Look at that pass. Along the right baseline, fights wow. Chris Murray outside of three. As a point guard, but he got the job done, and Tom Davis knew that. Sanford. That's better. With an assist That's for Perkins better. and a three ball. Shot from 17 by Woods is not good. Here comes Peyton Sanford. Reverse pivot at the free throw line. Running jump shot off the board and the score. Street ball coming to play now. I hear him and they're loving to do that too. By Woods, not good. Rebounded by Sanford. Here come the Hawks on the run in the front court. Down the little high arc pass and alley-oop. Perkins couldn't go up and dunk it. So he catches it, brings it down, goes up to the layup. <laughs> George Raveling and Dr. Tom and Gary Close and all those guys and those wonderful teams to be able to be a part of it was something special. And no, but it's coming. <laughs> he just knows how to win and play and lead. This re this program really took and uh, there's some big games coming up and I think it will be. 72-41, the lead. Nice, nice pass cut. on the inside. Patrick McCaffrey, the score, whistle, and a foul on Marcus Watson. Underneath reverse layup, missed by Love Bettis. What a shot. You got to <laughs> love the effort. There's that bounce pass that you talked about. Connor McCaffrey, Josh Ogundale, and a layup. Iowa likes that century mark. Even if they take their time, have, have an opportunity to get there now. Here's the drive by Duncan Powell. It's good. Rebounded by Webster Fillmore. Into the front court's Dimitri Horton. Horton's been quieted all night. Long, high arcing three. Splash. Omaha then on the 21st, and then they head to Florida for Clemson and TCU or California. Nice penetration. Aaron Ulis for the layup. Uh, Dimitri Horton with his second consecutive three point goal has eight points. Kind of a little late. A nice pass. give and go. And Riley Mulvey in the ball game for the Hawks tonight. It just, it's just—it's kind of fascinating to see how his role has changed over the years from role player. Beauty. What a leader. pass by Ulis. Finds Mulvey in another dunk. He put back and score. 101-55. Here's Marcus Watson. Well, that, the UNLV game is obviously oh the most gosh. heartbreaking game of my life. And I wasn't even on the team, obviously, but I, I think I broke a few springs on the couch that day. Shot and score for Dimitri Horton. And here's a shot, Carter Kingsbury. <laughs> Somebody just reached out and said, it was actually George Raveling who started the jumpsuit. Craze, it right? was. That's that right. is brilliant. You're right. That's right. It all started here at Carver. Yeah, George. Carver, yeah, no doubt about it. <laughs>